Who, who, what was that? Oh. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome back to our channel. Yay. Um, do you want to apologize for apologize being... Apologize for what? Oh yeah, life <laughs> happened. Yeah, we missed last week. Um, Let me explain. She broke her back. She was walking like an old woman like this. Like, honestly, it was so bad. But she had to go to the doctor Can I say my to get some medication. Oh, and then she was walking like this. Uh, so yeah, there was no way we could record. What happened? What he said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now it was bad y'all but you know thank god for healing um it's still in process so pray for me anyway today we're back with a brand new video and we're going to be talking about a topic that i think affects literally every person <laughs> every couple every <laughs> relationship what which is got some money na -ma -na -ma money got some money <laughs> we're talking oh about the topic <laughs> So today we're going to be talking all about money and how it affects relationships and how we manage money and our finances in our relationships. So yep. stay tuned for more. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit the bell, subscribe to our channel. We would love to see you around and watch more of our videos. So yeah, um, before we get started, I think we should play a little money game because, you know, money game. I mean, I like money games. So here's the thing. Anytime you say a word, I get five dollars, and anytime I say whatever word you choose, you get five dollars. I like but, this. But make it reasonable. Like, don't pick a word like a or the. You know, like make it. You know. Okay, I my, think I know the word. Yeah. I know. I know my word for What's you. What's the word? Right. Oh, that's <laughs> you know, not fair. You know, like you know, right? I'm like, no, I okay. don't know, right? <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna choose the word um for you. Yes. Nah, no, 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 that's no, not no, even no, a word no, though. No, no. It is a word. You, you said everybody any word. says um. That's like I an ad lib when guys, you're talking. Have I said um since you started talking? No, I'm not. <laughs> that's not fair. Pick right is word. my own um. Okay, so let's go. Um you're and cheating. right. Okay. Oh. So talk about money. I don't like this. <laughs> Okay, so today we're going to be talking about money and the reason why I actually feel it's important for us to talk about it is like money is the leading cause of one of the leading causes of divorce in marriages. Oh, really? It is. And even if it's not even that, you know, if it doesn't go to the point of divorce, it's like the cause of conflicts, like fighting, arguments inside so wait, the house. you're telling me like couples just break up because money of money because issues. they argue 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 and argue yeah, about money to the point where it's just like the relationship is all in shambles i mean it, it makes sense though because you know if one person i mean if both people are not on the same page one person is just swipe it right swipe it left swipe 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 <laughs> the swipe. swipers they call them the free-spirited people that's what dave ramsey calls i know if you're, if you're not a dave ramsey fan don't worry i'm not talking about dave ramsey dave ramsey is like this old guy that loves to talk about money and He's, how to yeah, save money and yeah. all but yeah keep on you know there's, there's some more to talk about him but um they call them the free-spirited people that it's like i see it i want it I swipe like I get it right away and I just get this instant gratification from swiping my card Meanwhile, and then there's the other people like uh, why are you putting your hands towards <laughs> other me? people like oh he, he literally does not spend. that's not true I buy food I buy no. food for myself no no no, no. I'll spend Wait on... for this time before. No, no 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 that's different I'll actually spend to please my stomach okay but, yeah that's clothes fair. um gadgets uh Life, I don't spend on he any doesn't. of those things. Yeah, I think the only thing he spends money on is food. Yeah. Food makes you happy. Very happy. <laughs> I will lie. Very happy. Like I don't wait, wait, first of all, let's take a poll. How many of you guys food make happy? Like guys or ladies, does food make you happy? I mean food makes everybody happy, but I would rather buy a nice blouse for twenty dollars than buy food for twenty dollars. Like that's Why? me. Because I like to look good. I like I like Well, you do I look mean, good sometimes. Uh, oh, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Guys, ASOS, Target, Amazon. No, ASOS is the worst though. Like just swipe, swipe. Okay, okay I think in I, terms of our Can I clarify in terms of that? Our, no, you're not gonna start something that you're not finishing. Am I lying though? See yes. see this fine shirt. Where did you get it's it? It's from? from ASOS. Ah, so yeah, it's from ASOS. They need to sponsor this video. See this airing. Where did you get it from? It's actually from ASOS. 
<laughs> there you go. Kiss clues. Okay. I spend on ASOS guaranteed, yes. But Target, I, I spend for the kids. Like, that's where I buy their clothes from. Amazon. And Amazon is like house stuff. I don't even have an Amazon Prime account. It's anything we need in the house. A mini ring light. A mini something something. Okay. In that's other words, Amazon. Amazon, she's saying come and sponsor this video so that she can start spending Prime. Yeah, come, exactly. Come sponsor <laughs> us. Okay, but no, okay, like, fine. but no, in general, I guess we have different spending habits and different things that we spend money on but i think at the end of the day we try to yeah i think for us, happy like, medium. her free spiritedness is in terms of shopping for herself but not too much right <laughs> mind is in terms of food but then everything else like we're actually pretty good with money we're pretty but to reasonable. your point like a lot of couples it's not necessarily the same yeah. like yeah. what's an extreme example you've seen of people just spending like some of people spending just don't, money leading to they just don't problems. even they just don't even think about the money like it's like as long as i have it in my account i'm spending it like that's just the mentality like they don't think i have to save for the rainy day or i have to you know give this money to someone who doesn't have. and some people actually well, in winter can, there's no rainy day right now <laughs> Jesus Lord. There's no rainy days winter. Anyway, continue. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> no, I, I got your point. So people just... Okay, he didn't catch that. Um, oh, I said it again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I got one. Right? Uh, oh, I, I, oh, he said it right. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, I think in general, let's talk about how people, couples, um, kind of like manage their finances. I feel like the majority that I've heard before... It's like a lot of people would just kind of like, you earn your money, I earn my money, and then out of my money, we split the bills like 50-50. So I, you know, if, electri if electricity bill is $100 this oh, month, okay. I pay $50, you pay $50, that kind no, of thing. that's so much complexity. Like, so then if mortgage or rent is mm -hmm. $1,000, you pay 500 I pay 500 you pay 500 And then after that, what happens to the rest of the money? Is your money? Is your money? And then whatever is okay. left is so my money. Do we both contribute into savings? I mean, everybody, you just kind of talk about it and what makes uh, sense yeah, for that's you. Just like, complex. I don't. I don't. I think that most people just kind of save their own money. So, like, I can say I have like ten thousand dollars in my savings, and then so we will have different savings. Yeah. But we are married, and yeah. we're a team working towards a goal, and then we have separate accounts. I mean, think about I'm it. What if? What if like you're the you're like more of a saver and i'm more of a spender like would you want to mix your money with my money and oh that's a good point do you know what i mean yeah yeah but i guess it works for some couples that way because yeah. it depends on your circumstances yeah if one person just spends right then maybe it will make sense to split money where mm -hmm. one person is saving a lot more for the family or you're splitting it and then one person you know yeah, I, I yeah. Mean, and some people even go a length further so say you earn more than me so say you earn like 100k a year and i earn maybe 50k a year they will now split the bills in proportion of their earnings so one right? person pays two thirds and the person exactly. pays one third so they say that so actually it's fair. Is not that bad I think, I mean, I think it depends on the level of your relationship and it depends on the type of person that you are married mm -hmm. to, right? Where if one person is really bad with money, yeah, it makes sense to split it. Yeah. But if both of you are really good and both of you have the same goals and you're both sensible, then that mm -hmm. that is just too much Mathematics is your own formula, man. Like, like, I would be like, I would be like, whatever, just tell me what you need me to pay. Yeah. But no, why don't you talk about how we manage our finances? Okay, so for us, we have this spreadsheet oh 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 just thinking about a spreadsheet gives me goosebumps we have the spreadsheet where we tabulate all the different expenses in the month so there's a, a section for rent a section for phone bill internet a section for entertainment then we have this vlookup table i don't know if you know what vlookup is you're exaggerating, <laughs> okay, no, okay we, but i don't think we try to we don't try to like say, okay, well, you spent this and I spent this as long as it's coming out from the right bucket. Mm -hmm. And as long as you didn't finish the bucket and I can spend it for my food when I need it, then it's fine. But thankfully, let me, let me report. mine is food budget and hers is shopping budget. No, so let, me, let me report this guy to y'all. Like, um, when we used to, now we work from home. She said, um, 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 um. <laughs> now we work from home. But when we used to go to the office, like we actually had a... Uh, 
food at work budget. So that means, you know, I could go out for lunch as long as there's still money in that bucket. <laughs> I can go out for lunch and go have lunch and not even have to worry about it. So we have one bucket for food at lunch. Okay. And, and every point? time I'm like, oh yeah, it's Friday. You know, it'd be nice to kind of go out for lunch. I've been taking lunch to work Monday to Thursday. I go and look in the spreadsheets. Guess what? Remaining five dollars. Yours truly has used up the. He has swiped away the entire. Like he would eat for both of us at work. I mean, that's why I'm looking good. I am looking slim and nice. I love you looking this way. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, all that to say. But le- on the flip side, then when I say let me finally get a shirt for myself and look fly like this. I've been shirt. I go there. I go there, and then this girl. Oh gosh, if I can find twenty dollars there. Okay. I use up the shopping budget. But I don't uh, always use yeah. it though. Not every month. I don't even shop every month. Uh, it's not just about your clothes. Mm-hmm. Oh, my facial cream is gone. Oh, my hair thing is done. Oh, wait, All my right, makeup. That's enough. <laughs> oh, uh, you want to talk? That's enough. All whatever. Right. So, actually, I know some people really do have challenges in their marriages where one person is very bad with money. And so, in that kind of situation, they really do have separate savings accounts. They don't really share a lot of information about their finances Mm -hmm. now i think that makes sense right but the more important thing there is not even about money anymore Mm -hmm. it's more about the relationship you guys will probably need to work on the relationship to get to a point of trust and to get to a Mm -hmm. point where the other person really sees that okay it's important for us to actually have a long-term vision for our family and for our finances Mm -hmm. and then in the but and so once you guys cross that threshold then i think at that point you say okay how can we put our money together to accomplish uh, a a goal for the family so to your point communication right just being open and talking through every single scenario every single thing in your relationship and then second thing is getting on the same page so whether it's the same page is okay we split the bills 50 50 or whether being on the same page is we set a budget um for both of us um 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 that's that we both agree on and we both sign off on so it's not that she sets the budget and then he brings it to me and he's like madam here you go this is what we're going to be doing this month no it's both of us saying you know okay this makes sense we want to give a hundred dollars to church this month and we we both agree on it we want to spend fifty dollars you know in fun and entertainment this month and we know that when we take the kids out we Um, don't have to be arguing about it leave me alone she is not fair just continue your continue <laughs> anyway you get the gist of what i'm trying yeah. to say yeah. yeah especially that giving side right where someone might be a very big generous heart giver that's true but if your giving is you know putting your family yeah. in a situation um yeah some people budget, give beyond right? what they can truly afford like because so and so is in show so and so is like you just come like it's hard to turn people away you know and some people just have that really giving heart yeah. but you have to caution yourself is yeah i want to give just but what is budget. reasonable yeah like you say you can even make it bigger than you know normal but just as long as you have a cap that you're like okay Come back in February. I, give you. <laughs> I like that. I like yeah. That. Okay. I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. What are you looking? What at do me? you think about the term "my money is my money" and "your money is our money"? Oh, well, uh, uh, why in the world? So I'll be the one working for all of us and the family, and then you, you'll be the one spending and swiping. Like for real, some you'll women be going really... to Dubai and uh, to where, where China. <laughs> Tanzania going on vacation. No, okay, you're and being I'll be extreme. Hard. No, you're being. No, extreme. that's the meaning of your money is my money and my money is my money now. Huh? No, uh, like some women really just think like yeah, their money right. is for them to like spend. Like I need a new purse, you know. I want to get my hair done. I want to buy a weave, um, that kind of thing. And then like in terms of like home care, like buying food at home or buying clothes for the kids, like is the husband's money. I mean, that, that may that. make sense if the husband is the like earns 95 percent of the income mm-hmm. and then the woman earns five percent mm-hmm. but if we are earning 50 50 or if we're earning 60 40 uh from where to where why i mean what do you think about that term no i think i think honestly that term is literally and y'all don't come for me but he asked me what i think i think it's the most selfish it's literally the most selfish thing that you could ever say it is so selfish i'm sorry Chai, why? this thing it took you why it's tricky you, I mean, the thing you have to think about it is like what do i care about money 
that is outside of him like what do i want to use money to well, I, do? I think it's i think it's a very selfish thing but again I agree. if that's what you think and your husband you know some some men actually want to be the provider you know, like I want to, I want to provide for my, you know, like some, so if you marry someone whose mindset is also like that and is like, I want to take care of my family and you don't stress and that makes him happy and have that, you know, that That's pride, true. you know, like y'all do your thing. Don't mind me. I you mean, know, but, I don't know what I'm saying anyway. So. I mean, but even in that situation, right, if the guy truly wants to be the provider, like the lady can see, yeah, you can be that yeah. way, but then the lady can be putting money aside for the family That's if you're true. not spending it. It doesn't yeah. have to be that. Also, Ultimately, it goes back to this, right? What's your vision for your family? Mm. Are you trying to accomplish something big, right? Are you trying to mm-hmm. set a, create a future for your kids and their grandkids? Because, you know, mm-hmm. the Bible says a good man leaves a... a hey, an inheritance for his <laughs> An children. inheritance for his children and the children's children. children. children yeah. Ah, wow. And so, okay, okay, so let's right, talk wait, about babe, the... Wait, babe, I do have one question. So go back like nine years ago, assuming we were still dating, mm-hmm. right? And then, you know we just started talking about money and then you realize maybe I don't have that much money or something like there's just a comma around that question you are broke <laughs> yeah me, sure I'm broke okay will that be a deal breaker for you oh <clears throat> um I mean she you were broke though let's really? be for real first of all who was working between both let's of us let's be for real no when we were dating you were broke but you were also broke I was also broke which is fine <laughs> Okay, like no. remember those days, yo. Like we were, we were, we were dragging our leg at these bends. <laughs> we were walking, and then no, I remember he he used to like you were a car dealer, and so he would buy cars and then resell it for a profit. But he was horrible at that business. <laughs> let me be honest. Oh, he would God. either make a loss, and then like no, no, so, no, I never made a loss, but. My he average did buy profit some was like two hundred dollars. Oh my god! See, that's so ridiculous, right? After like, like all the hard it. work, I would just make two hundred dollars so of profit. And then <laughs> we would drive the car. Like when he buys a car, he would drive it until he gets someone to buy it. And there'll be a for sale sign as I'm driving. All over. It. His car always had a for sale <laughs> sign on it. And then he'll get someone to buy it, and then we would like be trekking oh. everywhere. <laughs> we'll be walking everywhere, and then at some point you had a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> How do you remember all this? Why would I remember? remember when I was suffering I don't remember so far <laughs> oh God. so no you were broke but honestly like as we were young too so I think I saw I mean I saw potential in you like mm. he he's, a, he's an incredibly smart guy like mm. for real like I knew you were one, gonna be one of those like you know I don't know how to describe it. I'm still it. going to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I saw I saw a lot of potential in you. And I think you saw that in me too because I was also broke. Like, mm-hmm. this relationship was not about mm-hmm. money, but thank God it for God. It was about faith, man. We're looking fresh now, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay, but wait, as you mean you're working and you're making a pretty decent amount Mm -hmm. and then i'm this guy maybe i'm not i'm barely working a job or the job i'm working i'm struggling with rent and all that like Mm -hmm. will that be a deal breaker for you i think the context around it i wouldn't say just because you don't have money i'm not gonna date you but i think the context around it are you recently graduated from school and looking for a job did you just graduate from pharmacy school medical school you're looking for a job or is it because of poor decisions that you're broke like are you gambling in that case i'm running like i'm literally running away from that red flag like Makes so sense. the context around it i think when you get to know a person you kind of know who they are like are you just someone who just doesn't have a drive and you're just like you know i have this minimum wage job not that there's anything wrong with it but you're just content and you're yeah. not trying like taking this it certification or doing something to improve yourself boy bye one question <laughs> but regardless of the circumstance will you introduce me to your friends like oh this is the guy that um <laughs> he's wearing tattered shoes even no, though he just not? graduated I mean from... if I'm dating you I, w- I will carry you everywhere man you guys see why I married <laughs> this woman you see why I married this <laughs> woman like you should uh-uh. go sit down fine get she's Please. always proud of okay, me okay why don't we wrap this video up and talk about the key takeaways so <laughs> I think key number one is to talk about communication so talk especially before you get married right don't wait until you're married so talk about money it's something that most people don't talk about people don't say how much they earn people don't talk about all this stuff but talk about money before you get married understand and study the person like don't it's not all about i love you i love you study how they spend money when you go out to eat or when they go shopping like do they even look at the price that they just be swiping and you're like oh he loves me Wait, sorry let's bring it down to earth. do your research Look at the person's credit report. Do they have a lot of True. loans? L- find out where the person works and don't just take but it by 
I think a lot of loans is not a bad Wait, thing. Wait, just hold on. And that's why the next part is find okay. out where they work. Are they just are they working or did they just say, oh, I, I work for an international food delivery company, DoorDash, which is DoorDash, and I'm driving and <laughs> delivering for. I mean, nothing wrong with those working mm-hmm. with DoorDash, right? But the point is that are they working in a way that they're improving themselves? Yeah. Uh, I, do they have a history of? Mm-hmm. you know just bad spending maybe them or their family oh another important thing they may actually be so good but they can have a huge family dependency on them where mm-hmm. ah send me money this week send me Lord, money next week because yeah. for us africans that's a big challenge that right a lot of us that travel outside the country we're supporting family members because mm-hmm. you know it's not that easy and, yeah. and so what is that like is that something you can support and is that something deal that with. not just and deal with yeah and is that something that will end at some point because their family member will get a job or is it going to be for the entire duration of your marriage and then it's going to cause bitterness for you mm-hmm. right those are some very important things that you want to figure out while dating mm-hmm. yeah i agree see i made a good um, point right you did yes um another thing i would say is oh you said <laughs> i said um <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I would say also get getting on the same page with your significant or other and setting a realistic budget. Um, mm. So I can you know, give you guys a spreadsheet. <laughs> come together. There's so many tools that are more fancy than this guy's Excel spreadsheet that is so much easier to use. So find something, thing, find something that works for you. Set a budget, even if it's writing it down on paper, getting one of the fancy apps, whatever works for you guys. Just make sure you're on the same page and on the same wavelength. Um, I said it again. Uh, <laughs> I will also say one thing I would make sure to do is mm-hmm. don't prioritize money over your marriage. At the end of the day, it's just money. Money comes, money goes, you know, money, it's just money. Um, I think having a happy marriage, a happy home. Um, Babe, it's not that easy, man. If something's tricking you on the inside, if something's hurting you, because talk about you're it. working hard, yeah, talk I guess about talking it. about talk it. about it, make sure you're. But on sometimes, the same if page. a person just doesn't see what you're saying, because mm-hmm. there are people like they really don't see the problem. Then reach a resolution that both of you would, you know, if it's saying, okay, you know what, since you're, since we can't really see eye to eye, why don't you keep your money to yourself? I keep my money to myself, and then we contribute something towards the bills or towards the home. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, did we ever say how we even like, oh, we said we told them we combine our money, right? So yeah. essentially, I don't know if we're ever clear on this, but we don't have a separate bucket for it. His I mean, money well, and my money. Her money goes into our bank accounts. Mine goes into my bank account. But our bank accounts are linked. They're linked. When she swipes her debit card, it, it comes, comes from, from his account. I know the password <laughs> to her account. Yeah. But, you know, that's also because yeah. we've reached that level of unity and understanding and for us. Yeah. And trust. Yeah. yeah there's that's a lot the of word. trust in that. Like, I, 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 I trust you a little too much. I can <laughs> sell You can, can sell thing. me literally. I'll get changed you on can, top. She writes my signature nature even better than i do which is just crazy so no our, our accounts are very linked um yeah we spend sometimes he takes my card i take his card um, but it doesn't um, matter because it's all together anyway and like, I was saving what's, what, what's um, one big thing you want everybody to take away from this or so one big solid like juicy fact or advice or anything one thing i would say is and because a lot of people watching this may not be in a relationship or may not be married i would say also be responsible with your finances for yourself um set a budget for yourself and um if you have to there's a lot of times where have you noticed sometimes you buy something and it just sits there and you actually never use it for like six months and you're like, why did I buy this thing? Or even like a dress and you're like, I actually don't like it. Why did I buy it? Yeah. One thing that works for me is stepping away from it. So if, especially for big ticket items, like, I don't know, whatever amounts that means to you as a big amount is, I really want this, I really want this, I really, really, really want this but I'm going to step away from it and come back tomorrow or in two days and be like, do I really even really, really want this? Um, so just exercising that in, you know, for yourself or for if you're sharing your finances with your partner, exercising that as well. Yeah, you can be like me. Think about it for six months. And then if you still want it after it. six months, you can buy it. He will never <laughs> buy it, no. But oh I'm actually curious to know what you guys think about the my money is my money and your money is our money. Like, was I too harsh? with my response <laughs> in calling it being selfish i really want to hear your viewpoints on you know what your thoughts are so drop that down below yay um, so i think we've said a lot are we going to do our dance out 
Oh, you don't have a waist. My waist is broken. broken. <laughs> All right, that, that's for the two of us. <laughs> I want to show this though. You know, we're talking about who won. I think I won. I won. No, no, no. I kidding? think once you we know put how many that, arms you said. I won. <laughs> I think once we put that counter up, we're gonna realize <laughs> that I actually won. <laughs> Please, don't mind We're saying you cheated. We shouldn't have picked, um... Uh, 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 why are you showing them your bum bum? So it's not working, man. Nice. This way is not working, though. I beg, please don't break it again, though. Who broke my way? Otherwise, I'll be the one who... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we hear that. Bye, y'all.